All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Uh, we're going to do an A10C2 video today, which we haven't done. I don't think we've actually ever done a GCS A10C2 video. So uh, basically, we've got various different types of uh, convoys that can possibly spawn. And we have a Reaper that has uh, spotted it. Let's do that. Request rearming. <clears throat> All right, master arm on, gun pack on. We're not going to be running. We're going to have to mess with the laser and the TGP after uh, we get all of our stuff. Go ahead and set fuel. Set you to echo. And helmet mounted display check. Okay. So, game plan's pretty simple. Let's take a look at... DDI or, or DDI. I don't know what the hell it's called in all these. Keeps changing. Uh, but basically, we've got that Reaper there marked as uh, 20. And then in between checkpoints one and two, there's apparently some sort of convoy. So I've made it so several different types can spawn in. Get rolling while we talk. So not exactly sure what, uh, what we'll be dealing with. All right, targeting pot on, laser on. We need to upload all of our stuff. That way the aircraft knows what kind of weapons we have on board. And if you're new to the A-10, you'll know when uh, it's done uploading because all of the dots for all the options will pop back up. Like that. Okay, we've got that. Weapons, probably gonna start off with Mavericks. And let's go ahead and get those aligning. Infield one on station at Bulls zero four five for one hundred twenty at twenty thousand. That's our Reaper. And we're waiting for our targeting pod to not be timed out, which is fine. We got a little bit to fly. So we're going to be watching our RWR. Let's go ahead and get flaps down. I'll chat while we do this. Power all the way up. Brakes on and off brake. We will be uh, scanning our RWR for radar threats because there is a chance that we can run across an OSA, an SA-8, or Tunguskas. So we need to keep our eyes peeled for that. It's going to be a little bit harder for Tunguskas if we don't visually spot them just because of how limited their range is. So they usually don't pop up on RWR until they're ready to engage you. Rotate here. Likely like flaps down a little bit longer than I normally would. Especially in an A10 just because it's so heavy. Oh, it's not ready yet. Okay. Go ahead and make our heads up displace our center of interest and then we can shift between uh, waypoint one there, which is the point that we got from the point that we got from the Reaper. Go ahead, flaps in. Now we're good to turn in. We'll continue our climb as we get near the target area. <clears throat> so it should be below this. Yeah, we got a town. Target, okay. Continue climbing. Uh, could be anywhere between the checkpoints. I think that's checkpoint two. Down the road. I don't see anything. There are a couple of uh, areas with dead space, so that could be, there could be vehicles that we're just not seeing. Also, we have it set up so there is a possibility that all of the options will spawn in, which it doesn't look like that's the case right now. But, uh, 
keep our eyes open for it. I don't want to get too close right off the bat in case they do have the, uh, the radar threats. So let's kind of keep distance and we'll see if anything pops up on the RWR. Uh, okay, I'm not seeing anything. Might need to switch and look at checkpoint two, but I mean, checkpoint two looked pretty open, yeah? Because that's the area of checkpoint two. I'm not seeing anything. I would be able to spot vehicles in this little town from here. They must be in the big town. I also randomized the locations too. Oh. Alright, what do we got, boys? Uh, okay, it looks like Zill fuel trucks. Technical, technical, technical with, uh, looks like 23s on top. Okay. Is that the end of that convoy? I think so. Oof. Heavy climb. So we will, as of now, we'll use standoff on those uh, technicals. Don't want to get too close to that. Uh, see what we got in the front. That, I can't tell if that is another Zill or if that is a Ural. <clears throat> Turn in slightly. The good news is we don't really have to rush this. not going to assume that that's the only convoy. Let's let's confirm that. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm really not seeing anything else. Okay. Yeah, you can literally see the vehicles from here. At least I can. I don't know if you'll be able to with YouTube compression, but... Let's let them get into the open here, and let's confirm those front units. Okay. Yes. Ural. 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 Holy shit. Ural. And then Zills. Okay. So we've got a lot of targets probably about a dozen and the only threat seem to be the dudes in the back uh, the downside to this is if you look closely we've got a lot of street lamps and when you're running mavericks they tend to love to grab onto those instead of your target so i'm definitely gonna let these dudes get uh get out in the open here we're five miles out so we're, we're within range yeah, there's the first one. What we'll do is we'll set a speed. Right there, I like to look at it, just make sure it goes down. Mark point, now it's a speed. Now I can slew this guy over there. Let's make our Maverick soy, zoom it in. I think we, okay, I got a lock, is that the lock on the vehicle? It is, it's tracking. Line up, rifle, and that beat there goes it locked onto the fucking light pole. Okay, and we're off. I'll have to reattack. It's okay, it's better than getting too close. There we go, okay. Shack two, at least. That looks like, dude, do we shack all three with one? That's what it looks like. Where is he? There he is. Okay, we've got one, two, three, four. On the far side, one, two, three, four, five, six that I can see on the close side.
Damn. Okay. We uh, brought extra ordnance, that's for sure. We need to get eyes on this and ensure that these guys are down. This is something that I'm trying to get better at when it comes to A10 is... Oh, okay, we got the third kill. It uh, It's really easy after my first attack to, to want to just go in and mess everything up, but it's, it's not the smart play. Yeah, okay, that's down, that's down. All three of those are down, bet. We know there's no more threat on this convoy. Let's double check that we don't have a convoy coming up behind us. I would hate to push in and then have a, a ZSU catch us off guard. I'm not seeing anything. Okay, and nothing on RWR. Now let's get a new speed down. Zoom this in. Okay. Uh, speed is down. Switch over to Mavericks. We are within range. And having that extra range is nice too. Like what you just saw where we got the first lock very easily, but then afterwards it was a bit more challenging. It's nice to have that extra time. Okay, let's get the keyhole. Rifle. Slow down a little bit. Go for you. Fox. Rifle shack one. I think that second one might be locked onto uh, that street lamp, actually. Right here. Let's see. Yeah, it was. It seems to have damaged it quite a bit, though, so we're... We got some splash damage. <clears throat> we'll continue with the Mavericks until we're out of them, because they are a bit heavy, and then we'll finish up with guns. Maybe some rockets. All right, let's make sure we climb, keep our distance, even though it's not necessarily a major threat. We could have a stinger or something we don't see. Technically, we should be flaring but low-key, I forgot, and then it uh, doesn't seem to have been an issue so far. Yeah, see, it did it again. Come on, come on. Ah, you bastard. down rifle we'll start flaring now just because it's the, it's the smart move jack beautiful beautiful all right we should have what three more of these bad boys let's check our page two okay one thing, and you might be able to set this up, but one thing I wish it did automatically was when I have two pylons, the white ones with uh, simultaneous munitions, I wish it would drop one from one pylon then one from the other when they're both selected automatically. Right now, what it does is it goes right to left, and then I have an extra, you know, hundred or thousand pounds on this side compared to nothing now. All right. Let's try this fella. New speed. We should be about six miles out. Nope, three? No way, that feels way farther. Huh, 
Okay. I tell you, man, those hostile fucking, uh, those hostile street lamps, they'll get you. Full limit, okay. We're gonna have to turn it on this one. If we don't get it, we're turning it off. Make our Maverick soy. Of course, yeah, soy, all right. Rifle. Back, another Zill. We brought bombs too, didn't we? Yeah. We might try some uh, CCIP fun. Echo, let's get a little bit of distance and altitude here. I like the A10. It's one of those things where, like, if needed, you can go ham, and I could just do really fast turnarounds right now and wreck everything. But you can also just really take your time, because it, the amount of fuel and how efficient it is, it just hangs out forever. I mean, even now, we could be running in and, like, going full flaps, or not full flaps, but uh, air brake and fucking zero the throttle, and we would have a lot more time on. This Maverick to get on target. Locked. Now let's get the keyhole. Rifle. Okay. Coming in for guns. Take this right side. Start flaring. Back one. Check two. One, two, three. There might be one more on that other side. Oh, yeah, there he is. In between, right on my marker. <clears throat> okay, out of Mavericks, perfect. Let's go ahead and switch to our Mark 84s. We shouldn't have to mess with the profile at all. Oh, we got another... Another one, look at that. Uh, we'll go nose fuse and CCIP, and then we're gonna drop them one at a time. So let's go back to dismiss. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try to run in line with that smoke, those three smokes on uh, our side of the road. And what that'll do is if I miss my target and I overshoot or undershoot, it should still give us a chance to hit the targets because if you see they're lined up, so if we're over or under, we'll have at least some chance of uh, fixing our mistake. And while we come in, we got oh those three vehicles on the road are the helixes we killed. Okay, All right, we can turn in. Rolling in. Five. Yeah, you see how they're kind of lined up? It's not perfect, but it'll do. I wonder if we can get a double drop on this one. Pickle. Pickle. Pull up. Pull up. Oh. Track one. Uh, we're a little short. It's like 30 meters short on that other one. 
We were short on the secondary one too, but uh, since it's a soft target, it got it got schwacked. We're gonna run through using the. Uh, I want to run through using the uh, laser guided rockets too. Let's make sure lasers armed. I haven't done that in forever. But it's crazy. I mean, look at this. We still have, what is that, 42 laser-guided rockets? Oh, we have even have a Mark 82. Like, we could take on a whole nother convoy pretty easily right now. All right, this, this guy. That is the button check. I think the range on these is like three clicks, but that can be uh, altered based off of uh, your altitude and airspeed. Okay, target is set. Oh, wait a minute. He did. See, this is where it's nice. I can just throttle back and be like, okay. This guy's not dead. He was close, but he's not dead. And we're in. Or rather, three miles, not three clicks. Laser on. Spend five just because we can. Fuck it. Nice. I think we're killing dead targets over here, boys. Was it? Did he burn down? Because if it's a it's a zill too, so it should be it should be cooking. Gosh darn it! See what we're dealing with here, boys. Yeah, he's burned. He's fried. They all dead. Let's go for rockets uh, in between them. That would be kind of neat. Have my laser on the whole time. Let's come in. We will fire some rockets off as a volley in the beginning, and then I'll come in with guns and we'll just really wreck these uh, these poor trucks here. Poor fellas. All right, laser on. Let's see if we can if we can make a, a four mile shot here. I think it has to be within the circle, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, and switching the guns. Move that off so I can see. Oh, I forgot that I had the waves there. Goddamn. Pull up, pull up. Alright, mission over. Pull up, pull up. All units destroyed. So I hope you guys enjoyed, um, you know, a little A10C2 ground pound, real fun, fantastic module. Look it up if, uh, if you're thinking about buying it. Get that, go do the uh, free trial. It's definitely a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, subscribe helps me out a lot, and uh, I'll catch you guys later.